Phonics Laura from OnEarlyHouse.com and today I want to talk to you guys about the best carrier oils that you can use for your essential oils. There are several different carrier oils that you can use to dilute your essential oils and I get asked often about which one is best and this is really a matter of preference. Today I'm going to talk to you about some of the most popular ones and the one that I like to use best and just some information about carrier oils and why we even need to use them. So if you know anything about essential oils, you know that they are extracted from either the leaf, the stem, a root. They can come from the flower or the peel of a fruit. And it either is steam distilled or cold press. And whenever the essential oil is abstracted properly, it is a very concentrated liquid. And so because of this, it is very important that we dilute essential oils before applying them onto our skin topically. There are some oils known as neat oils, and a neat oil is one that is okay to apply to the skin just directly. So right here I have lavender, and this is one that you could actually just like put right on your skin, rub it on, and there's not gonna be any type of like burning or anything like that because it's a very delicate oil and it's okay for being applied straight onto the skin. But as a rule, I always, always, always suggest diluting. And that's because sometimes you just don't know what oils are safe for being diluted or not. And if you're using them on a child or the elderly or someone with sensitive skin, you want to dilute it no matter what kind of oil you have. So for example, an oil like oregano, this is a hotter oil. And if you do put this one straight on your skin, it's going to burn. Other oils like this would be clove, your cinnamon, cassia, ginger can be a hotter oil. Oil. So those are the oils that you want to be sure that you are diluting and if you're not sure just go ahead and dilute every oil and sometimes people ask me if that means that they're going to be less effective they're not going to work as well because you're diluting them and that is actually not true whenever you add them to a carrier oil it actually helps the essential oil to go deeper into the skin and actually penetrate the skin even faster diluting it in a carrier oil does not mean that you're going to be making it less effective there are a couple different ways that you can use Use carrier oils and the first way I'm going to talk about is in a roller bottle because a roller bottle is my favorite way to apply essential oils topically because it's easy and it's already all made up and you can just throw it into your purse it's easy for little kids that are wiggly and so when you're using a carrier oil for your roller bottles, you're gonna want to stick to a thinner oil. So fractured coconut oil makes a great one. Sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, those are great ones. Your olive oil is a little bit thicker, even though it's a great carrier oil for your essential oils it's not going to be the best option for a roller bottle. The same goes for just regular coconut oil. So fractionated coconut oil stays liquid, whereas regular coconut oil solidifies anything below 76 degrees. So if you have a roller bottle with coconut oil in it and it gets anywhere below 76 degrees, you are going to have a roller bottle that doesn't work because it's going to be solid. So you don't want to use coconut oil unless it's fractionated in a roller bottle. Now if you're using regular coconut oil. This makes a great carrier oil if you're trying to cover a larger surface area or if you wanna make a cream or lotion type thing. So with coconut oil, if you have a quarter of a cup of coconut oil, you can add 10 to 15 drops of essential oil into there. Let's say you, you have an issue on your back and it's not just in one area, it's your entire back. You're not gonna to want to take your roller bottle and just like roll it up and down all around your back. So it's gonna be easier to have a coconut oil that maybe you can massage in to your whole back or the same goes if it's an entire leg or something like that. It's going to be easier to apply to larger surface area. My favorite carrier oil to use in a roller bottle is fractionated coconut oil and that's because it's a very light oil. It doesn't have a smell to it and it's very moisturizing to the skin. Another great option that I like to use, I use often is jojoba oil. And this is another one that doesn't really have much of a scent to it, which I like because then if I am making something with an essential oil that I want to have for aromatherapy benefits, I'll be able to smell that well over the jojoba oil. Jojoba oil does not stain clothing like some of the other carrier oils do. So it is a great option, especially if you have young kids 
or if you're applying them maybe onto your chest and you don't want to get on your shirt, great carrier oil option. The next carrier oil that I want to talk about is sweet almond oil. Now sweet almond oil, it has a bit of a nutty and sweet smell to it and it is a great carrier oil option. It has, it's loaded with different, a lot of different vitamins and minerals that are wonderful for skin health. Now if you have any type of nut allergy, sweet almond oil might not be the one that you want to use because it has been known to cause irritations onto the skin. So if you have any type of allergies, you might want to avoid the sweet almond oil. Okay, the next one is olive oil, and I was talking about that a little bit earlier. It's a little bit thicker, so it's not your best for your roller bottles, but it can also be used kind of like your coconut oil, where if you want to make it into, um, use like a quarter of a cup of it, add 15 drops of oil into it, and then use it kind of as a lotion or rub, cover a larger surface area. Now, the thing with olive oil, it has a very distinct smell, and I love using olive oil in the kitchen, but that smell isn't something that I necessarily want onto my skin, and so it's one that I don't really use often as a carrier oil but it does work if it's the only one that you have. You can also use avocado oil. Avocado oil is becoming a top superfood. It's very great for you to take internally and also has a ton of benefits for your skin. It's very moisturizing and this is another great one that you can use as a carrier oil and it can be used in your roller bottles and it can just be used on its own with some oils mixed in it. Avocado oil has been shown to help reduce the appearances of blemishes and fine lines, wrinkles, and be a natural remedy for acne. You can also use flaxseed oil, rosehip oil. Rosehip oil is very good for anti-aging because rose can help to produce more collagen. And decrease in collagen happens with age and is the cause of wrinkles and fine lines and all that fun stuff. And so rosehip oil can be used to help with anti-aging. There are so many different options here with carry oils. I listed out 10 of them with all the benefits over on the blog if you want more details. And as you can see, a lot of these oils have great properties for the skin. They are moisturized, they can help with acne, wrinkles, fine lines. And so whenever you mix your essential oils into them, you'll be getting not only the benefits from the essential oils, but also from the carry oil that you are using. If you are making a roller bottle, kind of a little rule of thumb, I have a dilution chart down in the description below, but a little rule of thumb, 15 to 30 drops for an adult in here, and then you fill the rest with your carrier oil. And if you're making it for a child, somewhere between five and 15 drops, depending on the age of the child. If you want more essential oil education, grab my free online class. There's a link for that in the description below. And if you want my free ebook on how to use essential oils safely and effectively, I have a link for that in the description below. And if this is your first time by my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every single week on essential oil education, DIY recipes, and natural remedies for your home, health, and body. Thank you so much for stopping by our oily house.